Well, time for a Dragon Master fight. It's probably going to end in absolute horror. I mean, we've got to do this before starting recording, but yeah. I'm um, going to leave with Camel Can Can Kaminari. I can't talk. And so, not much more I can really say at this point. Now is pretty much the time for doing the deed. So we have our Lord of D. Diggity. Um, so, I'll just proceed to go into it. Right. Leads of the Gyarados. So, the very obvious Kaminari play here is to go get intimidated and then proceed to use Thunder Punch. No, no, that, that, that. Yeah. I got a shirt for Christmas that says, uh, sarcastic comment, loading, please wait. So much for that one loading. And so much for this thing making any impact in the battle. So, yeah, that's Gyarados. Down, immediately making it a 6 versus 5. But then, you know, Dragonite's a thing. Lord. Right, I'm gonna stay in. The Kamino will be useful against the uh, Aerodactyl and the Charizard. But I want to put in some damage. And Wait a sec. He's gone with the level 51 first. Are you serial? Oh, crap baskets. Mm, yeah, you're not doing that one. Alright. Who can take hits? Who can take a hit? I'm going to hope that Samantha can take a hit. Because I am now going to unleash my outrage against. Okay, sweet, outspeeded as well. That will that'll do the trick. Oh, that sucks. Is that a citrus berry? Ooh, not too bad for healing. Okay, now if you can survive this outrage, it will go a long way to knocking this dragon out on its ass. Oh, brilliant. Right, we're both locked into the Outrage, which is good. That's that, that's the level 50 Dragon Knight. That's the strongest. And I've put it on its eyes relatively easily. I would say that, that Thunderbolt definitely helped. Right, dra right, there's the next Dragon Knight. I'm not too sure if this one's going to be going to have the Outrage. I'm not too sure if it's going to get another turn of Outrage in or if it's going to get the confusion afterwards. Oh, uh, I, I really don't know. Um... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna take the risk. I'm not too sure when it actually realises that it's got the... Okay, cool. I'm not too sure when the confusion actually sets in, if it's if it's after the, the if it's after the Pokemon sent out or anything like that, so. Oh my god. Yes! Critical! That was brilliant. That's two Dragonites dropped. Right, now it's gonna get the confusion after this. Okay, cool. Before the it gets announced. So that that's good to remember for the next time. But yes, that critical was absolutely brilliant. It now leaves Frogbog a shit ton of freedom to go after just this single Dragonite that's left. Right. Never melt ice. Four times effectiveness. Dragon Rush will do a bit of damage, but hope but it shouldn't knock it out. Okay, cool. Ice Beam. Go. Do as much damage as you possibly can. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Uh, well, he's going to heal it. So, we're just going to keep lobbing ice beams at this thing. Mm, damn it. Um I'm not, I'm not too sure about this, but he might even heal it again. So I'm going to go for Ice Beam and see what happens. Yep, heals it again. I'm pretty sure they're like set to have a certain number of full restores like for the battle. And I think Lance has four. I think Lance might have uh, three or four of them. So he's used two 
He's used two of them. I don't think he'll use more than two on a on one Pokemon though. So yeah, he's out speeding me here. Dragon Rush is going to knock Frogbog out, which is which I mean I'll I'll deal with that. Now if I can get in something fast, we'll go with Myrtle here actually. Myrtle is fast, and then I can use it as death fodder to bring uh, Frogbog back. So go Shadow Ball. Finish off the third Dragonite, and then he'll probably send in. Probably, he'll probably send in Aerodactyl. If he sends in Aerodactyl, I'll be tempted to send to bring back Kaminari. Yeah, he's bringing. He's going for the Aerodactyl. Um. Yeah. Step, well, yeah. Stay in. Use Myrtle as use Myrtle as death fodder. And then. Uh, what do we want? Revive. What do I want to use a Max Revive? Actually, yeah, we use a Max Revive. Max Revive, bring Kaminari back because it's got a super effective... Well, either of them have got a super effective move, but I trust Kaminari more because it has a level up and it's been putting in more work. Thank you for missing, actually. that, that That's actually really good. Um, so I can either bring back Frogborg or try to get it hit in on this thing. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna bring Frogbo back and I'm gonna use another Max Revive. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine if I lose Myrtle because the fact that it's featured in this battle means I'm gonna get double money. Okay, yeah, why didn't you use Crunch to begin with? Crunch, yeah, one shotted. Crunch would have easily done done a better job. I don't know why it didn't do that the first time. Alright, so. Kaminari, uh, fire for Thunderbolt, yeah, I don't expect it to outspeed Aerodactyl, this thing's fast as shit, but I have to rely on it to survive at least one of these so that Thunderbolt can knock this thing out, its defenses are pretty frail, so a Thunderbolt backed on a pretty decent special attack that should drop this thing on its ass, which it has most certainly done, excellent, and I will keep Kaminari in, as he goes to 46. I'll keep Kaminari in and try to get a hit on hit on this Charizard. I should hopefully be able to get to get one Thunderbolt in, and if it doesn't knock it out, then I'll just send in a Frog Bog to finish up house. Or I can just knock it out with a Thunderbolt. And that is what I have done. So that is Lance knocked over, and that is the Pokemon League. The main game of Pokemon Soul Silver has been finished up. That's it. Uh, first thing I will say in well, first the, the first thing I will say is the Let's Record is not over yet because I will be doing Kanto. I'll be doing a much more in-depth explanation. Uh, like, if I don't have anything else to talk about in the credits, then I'll probably explain it in the credits. Otherwise, um, I'll be explaining it in another video. I'll probably just be going through the SS... The, I'll probably just be going through the boat stuff, going on, going into Kanto, and explaining that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah. So, Oak, come on. You can have your sappy speech and whatnot. Right. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up, Hank. Good lord. Right. Um, yeah, it's actually been a while since I've checked this place out. It looks incredibly bland. For a bunch of the, for a bunch of the areas that have, like, that have the Hall of Fame, this is one of the more bland areas, I'd have to say. It's a bit eh, but eh, it's, not, it's not too bad. It's not like... So it's not like red blue or something like that, but it considering that you can have a whole bunch of decorations stuff like that that one's kind of bland What I do like is this Hall of Fame thing here. This is kind of all Weird and whatnot just how many different bloody just like look at it from this angle look at this from the other angle Look at it from some other retarded angle. It's just like okay You just put a whole ton of spotlights on my stuff cool yeah. Plus, also, I'll get the National Dex. That means I'll be able to get some of the uh, Poker Walker courses that I should have unlocked, but haven't 
yet because I know I have I know I should have access to Hoenn Field at least and I think the might I think I might have access to the next one after it so I'll be able to check those sorts of places out and be like ha ha cool. So, yeah, that's the game saving. Whoa! What in the world? Okay, I hope to God that that... I, okay, at this point, I'm hoping to God that that um, champion fight was not completely blurred out like that, because if it is, then this video would be pointless, and I would have... No, oh God, Lord. Basically, eh, I don't even know. Like, if I was in a situation where I had beaten, like, where I'd recorded myself beating, like, a gym leader or an Elite Four, and had saved this game after having done that and then lost the recording, the fact that I would not have been able to go back and redo that and record it would, uh, would have spelled the end of this Let's Record because, yeah. Like, I want to show off all the gym leaders, I want to show off the Elite Fours, I want to show off at least uh, as many of the legendaries as I can. Like, I'm obviously not going to show off stuff like the Romas. But, yeah. <laughs> it's like... It's like it's like if this Lance fight turned out so horridly in terms of quality and was all blurred out, then... This video would never actually go up. And then I'd just be like, Oh, hey, guess what? This re let's record's finished. Which would take so much pressure off me because then I could just go and do it at my own pace. But, yeah. Um, so anyways, this is, I think this is just about finished, so I don't really have much time to explain what's going on with the Kanto side of things. I mean, aside from the fact that I am doing it, and, uh, just because I feel like it, I will, I I'm going to do it in the exact order that it was, like, in the originals. I think there was supposed to be, like, a precise order in, um, that was written out in, like, guidebooks and stuff like that, but I'm going to do it in the original order just because I feel like it, and, um, yeah, and my, and my other plan as well is to just go around and beat all of the trainers before knocking over the gym leaders, this is the, this is the plan I had to do in, um, uh, what do you call it, in my, in a heart gold file I had earlier, but I never got around to doing that, I just loafed on it, and then I lost the file, which kind of sucked because I had my, uh, I think I still have, like, a file of it somewhere which is good because that was because this is the file in which I found my um shiny tangler which is kind of cool so anyways I managed to talk I managed to bullshit my way through a whole bunch of credits greatest achievement ever it's kind of awesome I don't think I mentioned at all about those um about that shiny Dunsparce and shiny Ordinos. I actually called them yesterday uh, for, uh, for Christmas Day, if I did not mention that back when I should have mentioned them then, obviously, yeah, that's worth explaining now. I think this is the same font as in the uh, original Gold and Silver as well, which is kind of cool. And... Sparkly little... <laughs> I, I don't even know what the hell I said there, but anyways. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I will probably be following this up very shortly with that explanation video that I was doing. Uh, the likelihood is that I'll be just going through the same... The, uh, I keep wanting to call it the St. Anne, but it's not the St. Anne. It's the freaking boat, which I think is like SS Aqua. Yeah, that's it, SS Aqua. Be probably be doing that while explaining what I'm going to be doing in Kanto. So, see you for that one.